Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toledo located at 31 Auto Mall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this new Toyota Highlander SE. Now the most notable features on this SE is its heated front seats. You also have your power lift gate and your power moonroof. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this new Toyota Highlander SE. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this SE model is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps and then if we take a look at the front bumper you're going to see your plug-in block heater. Over on the side you have your 19 inch aluminum alloy wheels. Now you also have your integrated signal lamps as well as your heated mirrors, foldable mirrors, vortex generators and if we take a look on the inside of the mirror here you're going to see your blind spot monitoring indicator. Now with your blind spot monitoring indicator it'll actually light up just alerting you that there's another vehicle right beside you. The other nice thing with the SE models, it does have the smart key system with it. So with the smart key system, you can lock all the doors simultaneously just by pushing on the two little lines you see there on the handle. Push on it once, it'll lock all the doors automatically. And then if you put your hand between the handle, it'll unlock the front door for you as well. Now this is all possible just as long as you do keep the key fob on you at all times. And the color we're going to be taking a look at today is pre-dawn gray. Now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats. Just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your black leather interior seat surfaces with your power driver's seat with lumbar support. Taking a look just over on your left hand side. You have your automatic high beams as well as your auto stop and start power lift gate release. Window, uh, window wiper de-icer and then you also have your uh, storage space for some coin. On the inside of your driver's side door you have your mirror controls, window locks, power locks, window controls both your front and rear windows. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your volume control, scroll function, mode select, you have your voice recognition, Bluetooth, scroll function for your multi-informational display, lane departure alert, and cruise control. Now the other nice thing is you do have that push button start, so all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start off for you automatically. Now taking a look here, you have a couple of different options on here, including your range, as well as an eco indicator, all-wheel drive indicator, and a display warning control. As you can also go through your navigation as well as your audio, you have your lane departure alert, auto stop and start, messages and then your settings. As you can see you have a couple of different options on here which include your lane departure alert, pre-collision system, blind spot monitoring on and off and a couple of other additional features. Now taking a look at your center dash as well as your touch panel display, you're going to see a couple of different options on here including your digital clock. Heading into the apps menu, you do have your navigation, audio, phone, as well as a couple of other additional features. Now, one of the nice things that uh, parents that you're actually going to like about the Highlanders, it does have that driver easy speak function. So the nice thing with the driver easy speak is that you can actually have your voice projected through the speaker system to the third row, just to make things much easier if your kids are fighting in the back and you want to break them up. Because we all, we all know that it's difficult to do that when you're driving, when you're trying to pay attention to the road. So instead of having your voice muffled out uh, speaking forward and not being able to speak behind you, you can just use the driver easy speak this way. Now you also have that dual zone climate control setting just located down below with your rear temperature controls just located on your right hand side. Front, rear and mirror defroster with your hazard lights. Located underneath you're going to see your traction control on and off, snow mode, downhill assist control and your all wheel drive lock. And then you also have your USB and auxiliary with your power outlet mounted to a automatic transmission. You also have your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger. At the very top you have your auto dimming rear view mirror. And a couple of the controls you'll see at the top here include your open and close and tilt up and down feature for your power moonroof with your integrated garage door opener as well as your sunglass case holder for those days once quite bright outside. You also have an additional mirror on the inside there just so you can keep an eye on the kids just while you're driving. Finally we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now located on the back of your tailgate you'll find your backup camera just on your left hand side. Rear hatch release located just underneath your Toyota emblem. All you have to do is push on the button once and it will open up automatically for you. Now I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo space just so you have a much better idea of how much room there is. Now you have second row captain seats but you also have the sunshade visors just located in your second row along with uh, both sets of uh, windows there. Just so that you can block out the sun just while you're having a uh, nice nap on those long trips. Now with your third row it's a 60-40 split so depending on what your needs are for you can have one of them up or both of them up. To actually fold them up all you have to do is just pull on the strap on the back here fold the seat up and then if you'd like you can actually tilt the seat back farther just by pulling on this piece here and pushing it back headrest and then if you want to fold the seats back into the floor you use the same piece you would to tilt the seat back to tilt it forward instead 
Now located just underneath the floor here, you'll find your spare tire as well as your or sorry, your jack and your toolkit underneath here as well, some under the floor storage space. But this is also where you'll access your spare tire, which is located just underneath your rear bumper. Now, the other thing I like is you do have that power adjustable lift gate, so in the event that you do need to uh, adjust the height for yourself, all you have to do is just push on the button the height that you would like it at for approximately two seconds. It'll beep a couple of times, then when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to that height for you. Now, if you want to reset the height for whatever reason, hold down on the button again for more than four seconds. It'll beep several times, then when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to that height for you. A couple of the uses for that power lift gate is if you're a little bit shorter or if your garage is a little bit lower, you can prevent the back of your tailgate from being damaged. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.